Hi everybody. So this video is a good one. This is going to be batching your content. So it's basically working for 10 minutes, maybe 20 if you're not that experienced with Canva yet, but you're creating a month's worth of content. So you don't have to spend eight hours. You can spend 10 minutes. Okay. So let me show you guys how to do that. I'm going to share my screen here. So first of all, you're going to enter Canva and let's say we want to do quotes. Okay. This is just keeping things simple, you know, work, smarter, not harder. This should be the title of this video. So open up Canva and let's say you want to create a bunch of quotes to maybe share once a week. Okay. So let's do quotes. So I just type it in for the design quotes and then guess what it comes up with a bunch of cool designs for me so if if you guys notice the little crown on some of these that means you do have to have the pro account to get these you do not have to sign up for the pro account if you don't want to i of course have it because i use it every day um multiple times a day but you will also get free ones but if you don't want to pay extra make sure to look for the ones that don't have a crown beside it such as this one i think this one looks pretty cool and that happens to be free. So we're just going to use it, click on it, and it's going to show up right away. We can change it up. So I have light blue as one of my branding colors. So I'm just going to change it up like that. Um, reminder of the day, you can keep that there if you want, but then you obviously want to delete this where it says at really great site. So you know what? I'm just going to put in my website here um, just to give you guys an idea, either dentalel.com, white teeth school for my teeth whitening business, kind of whatever I want to do. If you want to take it a step further and add in your logo, you can do that too. But let's just keep it simple for today. Now, since we're doing a batch quote, what I'm going to do is actually take away these um, shapes here because it's not going to match up with every quote we have. Okay. So let's just do it like this for now. We can add things later. So then what I want you guys to do is go into Google Sheets. Very easy to edit Google Sheets. I'm going to change my screen here in a moment for you. Go into Google Sheets and then write up a bunch of quotes. So I just have some here for you just for the sake of this video. I did this quickly. Look up a bunch of um, quotes and put them in here. What you want to do is you're going to highlight them. Um, in some cases, you don't have to highlight them. It's totally up to you. But um, then what you want to do is go up to file and then you want to go to download and then you want to save as comma separated values csv so you want to save that and then it's going to save to wherever it saves to your computer now let's go back to canva here let's change my screen i have so many screens open i shouldn't have done this for the sake of this video sorry guys okay so we're back to canva then you want to go to the apps screen right here and then you want to click bulk creation it should show up you might have to do a search for it but i use this all the time so go up to bulk creation and then upload csv because that's the file that we just saved and then you want to find it on your computer you want to click where you want the quote to be. So on the quote itself, it's going to kind of show up here. You want to right click and then connect data. And then it's going, you just click the one that you want. It should show up there. You're going to need to adjust it a little bit, but that's super easy. Trust me, you can adjust it this way or you can change up the text up here. Um, I'm just kind of doing it quickly to show you guys kind of what it can look like. So I want that bigger, bigger, bigger. Let's do this. So doesn't that look pretty cool? Now I don't love these like little squiggly lines here. So I'm going to take that off, but let's say you want the author to be down here a little bit. You can change up the font, change anything you want up here, but you get the idea, right? And then you want to click continue down here. And then all of those quotes that we had in our CSV file before in Google Sheets are right here. So generate 24, you, you can have 50 quotes, you can have 100 quotes. So you could even have more to last you months and months and months, right? Um, you can post a quote every day if you wanted to. It's totally up to you. But you guys, look what I just did, okay? All of these quotes are right here and you barely had to do anything. You're going to have to tweak things a little bit. So um, 
let's say for the second one, you're going to have to move this down a bit. Maybe you want to make it larger. Maybe you even want to change up the color, um, change up to different colors of your branding, you know, switch it up a little bit. You can add elements. You could add photos. Um, what I personally do a lot is I go up to elements and I type in shapes and I like this shape here. You've probably seen that on some of my social media. What I do is I expand it and I leave it like that. Just kidding. I'm not going to leave it like that. I'm going to change the color up like this. I love this transparency icon up here. I make it transparent. Okay. And then I go up to position and I go backward. So see, just something as simple as that can look so much better. What if you want to do what they had before where you just want to highlight certain, I guess, words in the quote. So you could, you could even change it up, make this smaller. Let's say you want to highlight the first word, which is believe or maybe believe you. You can rotate it. You can do this. You can do that. You can move it so it's highlighted and notice how that's just highlighted. But doesn't that look better than just the word there? Let's say we want to add a tooth because we like teeth. Um, let's say we want to add a tooth. And just a reminder, these with the crown beside it is the pro account. You will have to pay for those if you want to use them. Just use something for free. So let's just use this one here. But then you're like, oh, that doesn't really tie in with my brand colors. You can change that. So go up here. Let's say we want it to be black. I want this to be gray. You know, you get the idea. You can change it up. Put this here. Put this there. You can add your logo, whatever you want to do. But that took me a couple minutes, right? Let's go down to the next one. What if you just want to keep it the same? You can do that. Down to the next one. Let's say you're you're like, okay, I'm getting tired of the light blue again. Let's do black. Let's change the text to white. You can do all of that. So it's pretty neat, right? Now, how do you save them? Okay, so remember we have a batch. They're all right here. Make sure to go through them. You can save each image as one. Make sure to change your um, page title. So let's say to remind yourself, you want to post this on Monday. Or let's say pick a date. You want to post this on, I'm just going to say March the 6th. You want to post this one on March the 10th. So just a couple days later. Whoops, <laughs> March 190th. You want to post this one March, I don't know, 30th. You're like spreading them out now. That's a good way to do that. And then let's say, okay, so now you want to save this as an individual file. You will go up to share. You would go up to download. Um, PNG is the image file. You can save all pages if you want. It's going to put them into a zip folder, but if you want to um, save them individually, just unclick everything and then go up to current page. That's the page that I'm on now and click done and click download. And then it's going to save it to your computer. And then you would upload that to Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, kind of whatever you want to do. Um, I did upload this template as an Instagram post. So the sizing is for Instagram posts, but just to show you guys that quickly, you can go up to home and let's say now you're like, awesome. Now I want to save this to my Instagram. Um, what other kind of template designs do we have? Let's say, okay, well, to keep it even more easy, you can go up to Instagram and then because let's just say that's your main platform and you want to do it as an Instagram reel. OK, so type that in. Let's say you want to do that. So then you would just click Instagram reel and it gives you the right sizing for that. Let's just do create a blank image. And then again, we want to look for quotes. OK, so look for quotes, look for something that you like the video, you like how it looks. Um, this is an animation. Let's say, hey, this is kind of cool. So we'll click that and then you would do the same thing. So how about I show you guys that again? So again, all of this is like within 10 minutes probably, right? Like it's pretty cool, but we want to kind of edit it a bit first. So maybe it makes editing a little bit easier down the road. So for example, we know we don't want at really great sites. So we're going to take that out right away. What if you're like, you know what? I don't like the background. Maybe I want to change things. So you can shuffle this way 
or you can just pick an entirely different color. Okay, so let's say you didn't want it to be a video. You just wanted to change it up completely. Let's just do blue because it's fun. We like the, the quotation marks. Um, we want to change those though to white. I don't know. We can do it like this. Okay. Um, or do we want to save a video you guys? Well, anyway, just to, just to kind of show you guys, remind you again. So then you would click this and this is now going to be in an Instagram reel. So remember how we did that. We went to apps, we went to bulk, uh, create, upload CSV. We want to upload that Google sheets document that we had saved click here and then right click. Oh, sorry guys. Let's see. Click here, do this, right click, connect data. We want this one. There we go. And then we're like, whoops, that's too big. We need to move this up a little bit. Let's say we want to keep everything nearly the same. They always like to add these little squiggly lines here. Done and done. You're like, okay, that looks pretty good. Click continue. All of those quotes, select all right here generate 24 designs and now you have 24 Instagram reels that took you 10 seconds. Okay. So you can do this for anything. You can do this for Facebook posts, Instagram reels, Instagram posts, TikTok posts, um, whatever you want to do. So let me know you guys, if you have any questions, I hope you had fun with this. Um, Hey, when I first learned how to do this, I was pretty excited. So enjoy, have fun, make sure to change up the colors to your branding. Um, have fun with it, you guys, but this will save you countless hours I would say in 10 minutes. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you need anything and I'll see you in the next one.